hello guys in this video I'm going to show you how to write a program that will do face detection in Python uh, the library that we are going to use is OpenCV as you may be familiar open uh, computer vision so you will go to your terminal or your command prompt if you're using Windows and install using the f the command given on the screen pip install opencv hyphen python so this is how to install uh, if you're using you just navigate to pypy as in python package index as you may be familiar this is where we find most of the python libraries pypy so you just type uh, opencv uh, PyPy and you will be able to get here and once you are here if you're using uh, Ubuntu or if you're using Mac you can go to your terminal and then you don't need to co you just need to click here this is where it will copy to clipboard go to your terminal paste uh, Sorry, I don't know, I'm not sure whether it copied. Yes. Uh, and then uh, if you're using Python 3, for example, like me, you will change that to pip3. So you will say pip3 install OpenCV Python and you should be able to install OpenCV. So mine is already installed. I'm not going to take you through the installation process. You guys may be knowing that already. So uh, <coughs> let's go straight away to our ID. I'm using uh, PyCharm. So the first thing we do is we import OpenCV, which is called uh, the module is called a uh, CV2. and then uh, there's a cascade file you need to be having already i'm sure you guys will find it online uh, um, i'm using the frontal phase eh? frontal phase cascade file this is a trained file for detecting faces So you will find it in GitHub. It's an XML file. So this is the file. Uh, this is the file. So you need to click here. Click raw. Click raw.
I'm, I'm sorry, Mozilla is disappointing me here. I'm not sure why it's taking that long. So allow me guys to close uh, Mozilla because it is it is it is failing me. Yes, I need to close it. It's not even responding. So we go to uh, Yes, here it is. Uh -huh. So we go to this is a trained XML file that will be used to detect phases. You can now click wrong. Yes, yeah, so once we are here, I think uh, at least Chrome is not failing us. We just right click and then save us. And then, of course, now you will decide where to save. So, of course, now you need to save it in the same directory that you're using in your ID. So like me, if it was me, I would have saved it in, I would go to home, go to patch and projects, machine learning, and save it here. But as you can see, I already have a copy, so I don't need to save it. You guys would just click save, if you're using PyCharm, or if you're using any other ID, just uh, save it anywhere else and copy it to your directory, the directory that you're using. Uh, we're done with the browser and it's close uh -huh. now we come to the program so we need to load uh, this uh, cascade classifier so we will do cv2 dot cascade one doesn't detect, I don't know. Cascade uh, classifier. And then uh, let's call it face cascade. So it is it is easy for me in using a uh, PyCharm because all I need to do is uh, copy this. So all I need to do is copy or Control C, and then uh, just Control V, just paste, and then uh, it copies the name of our file. Now we are done with the beginning. We got now we use a, a while loop uh, while true.
so we will keep uh, first of all we need to we need to capture uh, a video what you need to do is capture a video so we say uh, uh, cap is equals to cv2 sorry 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 cv2 dot video capture and then uh, since we are using web webcam it will be the first one so the first camera is webcam if you're using any other camera connected to your computer or your laptop you may, be, you may need to change that to one two or three depending on the one that you're using so while true use a while loop while true we read the frame so we say uh, that uh, uh -huh. Uh, I'll call it return comma uh, image image is equals to cap dot read cap dot read So this method, the read or video capture dot read, uh, re returns a boolean value for true and false. If it is uh, if it is recording or if it is uh, capturing a video using your camera, it will return true. If it is not, it will return false. So this return is is a uh, this uh, I've written it ret -re for return. It returns a boolean, and uh, of course it returns the image also, the image that you wanted to record. Uh -huh. So now the next thing you need to do is you need to convert this to black and white, because it is recording in in color so what we need to do is uh, a gray image a gray image uh, will be see converted you converted using uh, cvt color cvt sorry CV, sorry cvt color CVT color and then uh, the image and then uh, we are converting it to what color we must uh, state here the color that we are converting it to so we say CV2 and then color color BGR to gray BGR to gray yes so we are converting our image to 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 gray and then now now we'll say that uh, we have converted that to gray face Cascade that detect multi scale uh, we detect we detect the the gray image now we detect the faces in the gray image so let's call these uh, faces uh, this is we now detect uh, faces in the multi in the gray image and then 
after we've detected we may need to maybe draw the faces so use a for loop so for uh, x comma y point w comma z x y w comma h uh, in faces what do we do we draw so we draw uh, a rectangle a rectangle and then uh, our image we are drawing using the the colored image so we we'll say we we'll use img instead of gray and then point one the first point is x comma y and then the next point would be x plus w comma y plus h and then uh, we want to say which color uh, personally I like yellow so I will use yellow 0 comma 255 sorry so so that is it we'll be drawing and then now we say that if if the user or if you press any key so if uh, cv2 the tweet key 0 you press just any key and uh, and 255 so wait key 0 and 255 and uh, so if the user presses that you should break if you press any key should you should you should break and then uh, that means it, sh it sh should uh, stop uh, streaming now uh, we may now close may release that may release the camera need to release sorry we need to release the camera and then uh, we also need to destroy all the windows destroy destroy all windows good and let's see if it works I hope it works it should work let's try that yes it works but uh, let me just let me use 
is uh, uh, escape key to close so I think it should so I'll be using so unless you press the escape key it will continue recording so let's try again Ah, sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. There's an error here. Uh huh. Uh, it should be. Uh huh. From let's see. Um, let's see for ten. If that is exactly equal to twenty-seven, that is if you press escape key. You should should work. is working but uh, I didn't show the pictures I didn't show sorry guys I forgot to show you that I forgot to show you so the window name is a uh, let's call it a uh, capture Let's just press uh, capture capture and then we'll be I'll be showing you guys your image so let's let's run it again yes you guys can see me now i think you guys can see me yes so that is it guys that is how you can implement face detection in python thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel see you next time